When I was 23 and living in LA, I felt really alone. I was in a really toxic relationship and I just wanted out. Growing up, I would have loved to see a girl from Brooklyn or from New York City living her life with depression in the most realistic way. I think that in the in movies and the media, we see the most extreme versions of what depression and anxiety can bring. There was no norm. There's no, no show or no young black girl who looked like me that was talking about these things. I created Sad Girls Club because I felt like Girls needed a place to discuss mental health issues without feeling stigmatized or judged. I think there's a lot of work that does need to be done in the mental health world, and it's, I think we're just now kind of breaking the surface. I think the media just puts up a lot of stories that will get clicks, but they don't offer solutions to people who may be experiencing the same things that, you know, Anthony or Kate Spade might have been experiencing. They just throw up the suicide hotline number and kind of call it a day as like, their work is done, but I think there can be more added to the narrative. We should promote platforms like this, promote platforms that offer resources, promote people who are talking about these things and can offer help. I think the conversation is definitely opening up, but I do think that we should also push more representation because we are affected just as much as white women and white men with depression and suicide in the black community.